Hi, welcome back again to this section. Now we will discuss about the basic procedure in designing a process. The key question that we want to reveal in designing the process are Is there process design to achieve a competitive advantage? Does the process eliminate steps that do not add value? Does the process maximize customer value? Those are questions that has to be answered by the process designer in order to win the competition. Several terminologies related that you have to understand about the process design is the first cycle time. Cycle time definition is the average successive time between completion of successive unit. Second, utilization. The ratio of time that resources is actually activated relative to the time that is available for use. Third, lead time. The time between initiation and completion of the production process. Process time, the process that takes for one or more input to be transformed into the finished product or output or services by a business process. Flow time, the amount of time a flow unit spend in a business process from the beginning until the end and also this is known as total processing time. This figure illustrates the difference between lead time and process time where lead time is certainly longer than process time since lead time consists of process time plus waiting or idle time. The process can be simply represented by the use of diagram to present the major element of a process. This representation of the process is commonly called flowcharting. The basic element include the process representation are task or operation, flow of material or customer decision point, and storage area or queuing. Based on the stages, process can be divided into single stage and multi-stage process. In addition, based on the flow, we can divide the process into serial flow where there is only a single path for all stages of production and parallel process parallel, where some production has an alternative path to increase the overall capacity. The example of flowchart is represented in this figure. Beside the basic element of the flowchart, we have actor that separate with lane and one process bounded by pull line. Once we added time in the horizontal axis, the information become richer and this representation is called time function map. Furthermore, by identifying which activities is value added, which activities is not value added, we come to the other type of representation of process that we call value stream mapping. This map is especially useful in designing lean system that has main purpose to reduce any kind of waste, including time. Lastly, in service sector, we have specific representation of how service is being served to the customer. This representation is called service blueprinting that divide map into five sections. Physical evidence, user action, front stage action, backstage action, and support process. I hope this video gives you enough explanation about the basic principle of process design. See you in the next video and happy learning.